Welcome to the Guide to Applying for Wisconsin Health, Nutrition, and Other Programs. The purpose of this guide is to help you learn what programs are available and how to apply for them. This PowerPoint was adapted from the Wisconsin Department of Health Services Guide to Applying booklet, which are available upon request. Do you need help getting health insurance? Are you unsure how you will pay for your groceries this month? Do you need help paying for childcare costs while you go to school, work, or a work training program? Do you need help finding a job or building your skills to take the next step in your career? This guide will provide information on benefits and programs, how to apply, what you need to apply, some help and tips, giving proof, letters you will get, and as well as resources and contact information. Wisconsin has the following benefits and programs available for assistance with health, nutrition, childcare, and employment. Programs like Badger Care Plus, which provides health care coverage for people age 0 to 64 who have limited income, Badger Care Plus Prenatal Plan Program, which provides pregnancy-related health care coverage for pregnant women who are not eligible for Badger Care Plus because of their immigration status or because they are in prison or jail. Food Share, also known as SNAP, which stands for Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, helps people with limited income buy the food they need for good health. Badger Care Plus Emergency Services helps provide limited health care coverage in some cases to people who are not eligible for Badger Care Plus because their immigration or citizenship status, but who are needing medical care right away. Medicare savings programs help people who are enrolled in Medicare pay for certain Medicare costs depending on their income and assets. Caretaker supplement is a cash benefit for low income parents who are getting SSI payments and who are living with and caring for their children. Medicaid for elderly, blind, or disabled provides health care coverage for people who are age 65 or older, blind or disabled, and have limited income or assets. Family Planning Only Services program provides men and women with certain family planning related services and supplies to prevent unplanned pregnancies. Wisconsin Shares Child Care Subsidy Program is a program that helps low-income families pay for child care so that parents or other approved caregivers may work, go to school, or participate in approved work training programs. Wisconsin Works, or W-2, is a time-limited program that provides temporary cash assistance and case management services to low-income parents and pregnant women. It is a work program for adults willing to engage in work activities. Food Share Employment and Training, FSET, is a free program that helps Food Share members build their job skills and find jobs. If you have any questions regarding benefits or programs, please call Moraine Lakes Consortium at 888 446 1239 and speak with a call center agent. How to apply. You can apply for benefits and programs online, by phone, by mail, or in person at your agency, located in the lower level of this building. If you read or write in a language other than English or Spanish, you will need to apply by calling your agency or submitting a paper application. Language assistance services, including written translation and oral interpretation services, are free of charge. What you need to apply. When you apply for benefits or programs, you may be asked to provide some or all of the information for each person applying. Having this information available 
when you apply will make applying easier and faster. You may need your social security number, date of birth, address, U.S. citizenship or immigration status, housing and utility expenses, job information, income information like employment or self-employment, other income such as social security, child support, unemployment. Help and tips. Get help from others. Anyone like a friend, relative, or neighbor can help you apply for benefits. If you want a person or an organization to help you apply for and manage your benefits, you or a court will need to appoint them to act on your behalf. <clears throat> an authorized representative is a person or organization that you appoint to help you apply for and manage your benefits or programs. If you would like more information about representatives, go to the website listed below. Things to keep in mind when applying. Programs have different income limits and enrollment rules. The only way to truly know if you are eligible is to apply. If you would like to see if you may be eligible before you apply, go to access.wisconsin.gov and choose Am I Eligible? You will be asked questions to see if you might be eligible. To get an application started, you can call the Moraine Lake Consortium at 888 Four four six one two three nine. Giving proof. After you apply for benefits or programs, you may have to provide additional information or proof. You will get a letter telling you what information you need to provide proof of once your agency reviews your application. Examples of giving proof may include proof of disability, proof of identity, proof of residence, proof of citizenship, proof of immigration status, proof of job or self-employment income, proof of current tax returns, proof of other income, and proof of shelter and or utility expenses. The easiest way to provide proof is with the My Access mobile app. You can download the app on the App Store or Google Play for free. The app is available in English and Spanish only. Letters you will get. After you apply, you will get letters in the mail. These letters tell you the status of your benefits and programs and if your agency is waiting for anything else from you. You may have to provide more information, complete a task, or give proof of your answers. It is important that you read each letter you get. You can choose to get your letters online instead of by regular mail. To access this choice, log into your Access account at access.wisconsin.gov. If you have any questions regarding the letter or have difficulty getting proof of your answers, please call Moraine Lakes Consortium at 888-446-1239. Moraine Lakes Consortium. A consortium is made up of a group of county agencies that determine enrollment and ongoing case management. You can request services at any of the county agencies within your consortium. The following counties are part of the Moraine Lakes Consortium. Fond du Lac, Ozaki, Walworth, Washington, and Waukesha. The call center hours of operation are listed below. If you would like to access this call center, call 188-446-1239. You can also access services through the online website at access.wisconsin.gov. Additional resources. My Access mobile app. Go to the App Store or Google Play to download the app for free. Search for My Access Wisconsin in either store. Additional resources. If you are enrolled in BadgerCare Plus and you need assistance to enroll in an HMO or have HMO questions, you can speak to an HMO enrollment specialist at 
2912002. If you need a new Forward Health card, you can call Member Services at 1-800-362-3002. Additional resources. Marketplace Health Insurance. If you're not eligible for Badger Care, you can apply for health care through the marketplace. The yearly open enrollment period is during the fall, when people can enroll in health insurance plan for the next calendar year. If you did not register for health insurance during the open enrollment time period, you may still be able to enroll in a marketplace health insurance plan if you qualify for a special enrollment period. To see if you qualify for a special enrollment period, please visit healthcare.gov or call 1-800-318-2596. The Aging and Disability Resource Center, or ADRC, is a single access point for publicly funded long-term care in Waukesha County. The ADRC provides information, assistance, counseling, and supportive services for adults age 60 and above, adults with physical and developmental disabilities, adults with mental health or substance use concerns, and caregivers. Personalized assistance is available at the Resource Center, over the phone, or to visits to an individual's home. Professional staff will assist adults in sorting through options and making informed decisions about the programs and benefits. There is no cost for the services of the ADRC. If you are interested in more information about the ADRC, you can visit them in this building located on the first floor, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You can also call 262-548-7848 during business hours or call 211 after hours.